Hey guys, it's Kathleen, and I've got Good Deed 57 for you today. Um, I like this. This is, you know, I'm going to read it the way this person wrote it and just talk to you about it a little bit. Um, the way they start it says, I've never been one to talk about my good deeds as I've never looked to really be rewarded for them. But uh, since you not only request to hear them, but also made it the requirement to obtain the coveted K Zelch Award, I figured I would tell you about the last weekend. So I just want to stop there. And I totally understand, you know, a lot of people say, oh, it's not a good deed if you tell somebody, but the reality is you're only telling me and then I'm sharing it with the world in a very anonymous way that just helps to get people thinking of things that they can do in their own lives. Okay, so let's go on. I am the statistician for my school's women's volleyball team. I'm also a trained firefighter first responder. Saturday, as we were traveling to our volleyball game, I noticed that one of the guardrails on the highway seemed to be missing. Then I noticed that there was an 18-wheeler that had run off the road and was missing half of its front end of the cab. Wow. I apologized to the girls because I knew I was going to make them late, but they told me not to worry about it, so I pulled over. I got out and went to help. By the time I got back to the scene, the driver had made his way out of the truck and was standing next to the woman who looked like a professional of some sort. I took control of the scene and asked how he felt. The woman told me she was a doctor, so I made sure she had what she needed to help him, gloves, etc. Then I went to make sure no one else was in the cab. Well, there was no one left in the truck and the 18 wheeler did not seem to be leaking fluids. So I just instructed others to stay back until help arrived and I waited. When the fire chief arrived on scene, I brought him up to speed and got permission to be on my way. He took my name and cleared me to go. All in all, no one was seriously hurt and we still made it to the game on time. Not a real serious incident, but I thought I would tell you about it in some small attempt to win your favor. Well, I think, I think that's great. And, um, you know, it's interesting that she noticed um, the guardrail being off because, you know, how many times you know, you're driving along and the, we just don't think about that. But if it's like we're, we're aware of our surroundings and we know the way things are supposed to be. And when they're not, it's good. It's like we have to be a little bit more reactive to go and, and inspect and find out if there's a situation that maybe you need to help out with. So. Hey, kudos, and you got the girls to the game on time, so I think it's a great deed all the way around. So you guys are going to get out, you're going to do a good deed, give me a shout out, until next time.